Hello, hello, everybody, and thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jonah from Spotlight, and this is going to be a really fun event. Pretty different from past events, but I'm super excited you're all here. We're going to be diving into some of the incredible tools that could only be available in this day and age. But first, I just wanted to introduce Chris from Copy AI. Chris, how are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. So Copy AI, just a little background for folks. I'm going to ask Chris to do a little more, but we came across Copy AI at Spotlight kind of internally, just sharing like, holy heck, have you all seen this tool? It's really incredible. And Copy AI is a tool for breaking writer's block. It has many uses, but immediately we saw and having heard a lot of creators, oh, maybe we'll have to mute here and there we're getting a message that our audio is echoing but we'll do our best thanks for the feedback um but we we recognize that writing can be one of the most difficult things for creators to master when you're getting started whether it's your sales page your emails sequences even just captions for instagram i know myself as a creator i've spent a lot of time staring at a screen not writing anything just wondering where to start and aside from all the other many things you can do with Copy AI, today we're going to be focusing on how to build a sales page using this tool as a real just barrier breaker for writer's block and just for wondering what to write. Um, but before we get started, I just wanted to ask Chris, can you introduce yourself, give us a little background on Copy AI, maybe where it was conceived from, and then we'll dive in and actually start showing people how to use it. Thanks so much for that intro. Um, you pretty much nailed all of it, but I can give a little <laughs> bit more background. Uh, my co-founder Paul and I started Copy AI because we deeply believe in uh, human creativity, right? And uh, the thing that kept bothering us is why don't more people take control of their lives? Why don't more people become entrepreneurs? Why don't more people, you know, start their own businesses? And the, tr the answer turns out it's really hard. And so we're like, okay, <laughs> we need to create tools that can help augment and amplify this human creativity, this human productivity. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we decided to go down the path of copy.ai. So uh, we have an unofficial vision of a billion new entrepreneurs in the next decade. We're almost two years in, so a lot more people to go. <laughs> um, <laughs> but these tools are getting really, really good. And we try to provide really intuitive tools to help supercharge your business. So you can take ideas that are stuck in your head put them out on paper, get them in front of your audience, really communicate these ideas of why it's valuable to your customers. That should allow you to run your business a lot faster and a lot more effectively. Love it. And so for everyone who's watching here right away, hop in the comments, let us know where you're tuning in from, and also feel free to give us a little background, what kind of content you're interested in creating, if you're a writer, if you're a video content producer, and also what challenges you are having when it comes to writing. Is it is it the emails? Is it the website? What are your problems? Because we would love to address those things and also ask any questions throughout the event. We'll do our best to keep up and answer them, but we'll also answer any we miss at the end of the event. But right now, we're going to dive in and show you kind of this process using my own business as well as working for Teachable and Spotlight. I also have my own business selling audio and music production resources and teaching classes around that. Uh, so we thought it would be really fun to use my business and use our Spotlight sales page template, which is linked in the description too. So if you want that template, you can grab it later. Copy AI is also linked down there. So all of these resources are available to you. But that's kind of the gameplay here. We're going to dive in, use that template, and see how Copy AI can actually be used to build out your sales page. So, uh, Chris, I appreciate you being patient here. I'm going to do just a quick overview of this template and of this kind of formula. For anyone who hasn't seen it, if you've attended past Spotlight events, you've probably seen it because I beat it down the throats of everyone trying to get them to use it. Um, but the idea here is essentially that we're creating a logical, emotional journey for a customer to follow. So you're grabbing their attention, you're piquing their interest, you're showing them the transformation that you're promising, you're building that trust, and then you're making clear to them that it's time to invest. 
And when Chris and I met before, I kind of gave him these little sentence templates and tools we had worked up that are geared to help you get started. But also it's really important when you use these tools not to just use our exact template. And so once again, this is an incredible tool, Copy AI, to kind of play with this and see all the different ways that you can structure language because it's really flexible. Um, so Chris, while we just start out, we're going to start with the attention paragraph and feel free to let me know like what you need from me or what steps, but we're going to be using just this basic idea of attention. And sorry, I'm going to skip back quick. The idea being you're making a strong plea. I work with your target audience whose problem is the problem you face together. We, how you solve the problem. So now you can achieve the transformation. But say I sit down at the computer and I'm still like, I have no idea. That doesn't sound like me. That doesn't sound right. That's not built for my industry. Here we have Copy AI. Exactly. Well, thank you so much. Um, I actually pre-built out some of these templates myself. Uh, I will be using them and then I can actually share them um, later. Uh, but, you know, let's start with your business. Um, do you mind sharing some information? So like, what is the name of your course? Yeah, so it's called the become. It's called become your own producer. Become your own producer. And who is it for? Uh, it's for competent musicians who want to learn how to become skilled and competent producers. Perfect. And then, what will you learn? Uh, you'll you learn better. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the goal is that so if you're a competent producer or musician, you know your skill and your craft, but you're struggling to actually be able to record and produce yourself at home. So the course is designed to get you to understand how to track your own music, how to use Logic Pro, how to use basic effects how to do basic mixes, but essentially get you all the way to the point where then you hand off your song to a music engineer who will do the final touches. Got it. And essentially taking out uh, the other thing you could add is like giving you all the tools so you don't have to go into a recording studio. Perfect. This is enough for now, but I'll probably ask for some more um, once we get started. And I will add a new line there. So I'm putting this information here just so that I can easily copy and paste it in. Uh, in the future, it will be a little bit easier to work together here, but I'm gonna just use this. So uh, back to your uh, demo, it starts with a um, attention grabbing uh, paragraph. So you'll notice we're using this tool called Freestyle. It's our most powerful tool. And basically, you can type whatever you need to create, insert some information, and then even give it a structure for how it should you know, come out. By the way, I'm using the default friendly tone. Jonah, if you want, we could also use a different tone that's a little bit more specific to you. Um, but for now, we'll just start with this, and uh, we will get some results. So all you have to do is click Create Copy, and you can immediately see there is this boom, attention grabbing sentences. Wow, this is this is so cool. Okay, so uh, people can read along. We don't have to obviously read everyone, um, but I was just gonna read this first one in my voice to see if it feels right. Um, so let's say, have you ever wanted to become your own producer? Are you a competent musician who wants to learn the skills and confidence needed to produce yourself at home? Do you want to do it without spending a fortune on studio time and equipment. This is so incredible. If so, then this course is for you. In it, I'll teach you how to record and produce yourself at home in Logic Pro. You'll learn how to use basic effects, giving you tools so that you don't have to go into recording studio every time. Okay, wow, that's really cool. Okay, so, so let's yeah. uh, skim through them. Um, I know it actually has some really great questions so maybe i'll save these for later because the second step of this is the um uh what is it it's called the uh interest mm -hmm. and so these questions are perfect for the interest but let's try to right. find out the paragraph that you know hits hard like maybe so, it's this right here 
you want to produce to be a producer. You know that you have the talent, but you don't know how to put it all together. You've been in the studio before, but you were always just a musician, and now you want to take control. That is, I like that tone more. God. That's a little stronger and speaks directly to the person. Well, it's not as hard as you think. In fact, with my course, Become Your Own Producer, I'll show you how easy it can be to record and produce yourself at home. You'll learn how to use Logic Pro and basic effects so that when you're ready to step in so that you're ready to step into the studio with a band or other musicians, they will be blown away by your skills. Ooh, see, I like that. I wouldn't have said that on my own, but I like highlighting that the tools I'm teaching you are actually going to work in a studio as well. And if that weren't enough, I'm also going to give you the tools that if your dream is being able to make music for a living without having to go into a recording studio every day, then this course is for you. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, that's really fun. Yeah, I like that one. I think that's a good lead. Yeah. Let's grab it. So this is the attention. I will actually label it just so it's easier for our, mm -hmm. uh, everyone to see. So I'm going to make this an H1. And next is interest, right? Yeah. And this yeah, is and essentially. What? Oh, sorry. Uh, I just uh, just a quick overview with this section. We're essentially looking for seven to 10, eight to 10 yes or no questions that are targeting the pain points of our customer. So this serves two purposes, just to give a brief overview. One is that you're building trust by acknowledging that you understand how this problem actually affects people's lives. So when someone reads that, they know you know why they're interested in solving the problem. And then the other thing is very psychologically driven, which is that it's almost impossible for someone not to answer a yes or no question in their head when they read it. So if they're agreeing or disagreeing with you, they're building trust by having that back play back and forth with you. So that's the overview. Let's look how it works out. Perfect. We already have three that I think are pretty solid. Let's try to get the yeah. 10 and then you can pick the best. So right now we are in the brainstorming phase. So we really try to dump as much on paper and then eventually we will come back and polish it up. So I built out these templates as well. Let me um, grab this in the future. This, as I mentioned, will be a lot easier and should save it. Um, but now we're going to create a bullet list of yes, no questions to drive interest. So. Do you struggle with? Not how I know. Giving you, giving you tools so you don't have to go into recording. So, okay, so Chris, maybe here's, I think this is a great opportunity. I uh, Some of the pain points I know my customers have, maybe we can incorporate them into the template a little more. Let's do it. I know people struggle with like, they spend, hours and days looking on YouTube for stuff. So I'm trying to eliminate that need. Um, I know they don't always know if the information they're getting is right. And I also know that they're often learning from products who want to sell them something rather than people with experience who want to make them better. And for the audience, these are pain points I've gotten from researching, talking to people, looking at and like Reddit threads for what people. So I'm not just pulling these out of nowhere. These are things I've dug into to try and understand where my student is. That is perfect. So let's take a look. Do you struggle with having no idea what to do when it comes to recording and producing? Do you struggle with getting your ideas on paper? Um, do you struggle with not knowing where to start when making a track? You know what? Let me. Actually That's a good one. Okay, let's try to copy that real quick. So, do you struggle uh, feeling like? Yeah, that one. Not knowing. So, I actually told it to follow this. Do you struggle format? Okay. Um, maybe we actually don't need that. Let's see what comes out. I'm. Sometimes you do have to work with the AI and uh, you know try and see if it understands that it's a bullet point list of yes or no. 
Well, and I, I love this. And this is one of the things I was excited to highlight is it is like working with someone. You're throwing ideas back and forth. And it's so cool. Uh, from someone who has actually been there and done that, that's a great one. Would you rather learn from someone? Perfect. Have you been producing music for over 10 years? Yes, well over. That. So that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. You've been struggling to learn from YouTube videos and books, but still haven't gotten the results you want. Boom. That's from what that. I was looking for. Yes. Awesome. Rather than just help you become better. That's a really good one. There you go. Less time learning online and more time making music. That is almost word for word, kind of my like a first tagline to get Love people. It. So that's awesome. Yeah. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten exactly. Oh. So there are some in here that you may want to, you know, pair out. Um, but we can revisit that in a bit. Shall we move on to the next section? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love, I just wanted to call out Linda saying, this is mind blowing. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, I hope, you, I hope you all are seeing how it's, this really has the potential to be a creative process where you're inputting and, and it'll change every time, right? Like it's, it's continuing to play and learn from your actions and mess with it. That's correct. Man, yeah, so cool. Uh, so then this next point is transformation. So now we're taking these pain points and it doesn't have to be one to one, but now that we've acknowledged and shown the person that we understand the pain points, why it hurts their life to struggle with this problem and all of those aspects. Now with the transformation, we wanna paint a picture for the student what their life would be like if they didn't struggle with the problem. And we're going to do that with imagine if statements. So imagine if you didn't have to do all of these pain point things. So that's the idea there. Let's back into Copy AI and make it happen. I lost the pain points that I wrote earlier. That's why I've saved it over here. I was I did not save them, but let me uh, write them back real quick. Oh, no worries. Yeah, yeah. Learning from. Uh, Our experts have a then companies with products to sell. Okay, we can just grab those two. Um, yeah. So let's take a look. Use imagine statements to complement each pain point. So I actually only listed two. I wonder. Um, I got one more. Sure. Um, I know a big thing I hear is people just saying they work for hours but make no progress perfect or progress sorry oh, not progress. progress yeah my profits. Making, okay, mo making money in the music industry is a whole different thing i'm not gonna <laughs> also for course yeah so you can see how we structure this once again we gave it a lot of the background information and then we gave it the pain points and then we told the ai you can actually instruct it Use imagine statements to comp complement each pain point. Imagine if you didn't have to, and then the problem that they face. You know what? Let me grab this real quick. We're going to save this as transformation. Okay. So um, imagine if you didn't have to learn from complicated YouTube tutorials. Love that. Imagine if you didn't have to learn from people that they kind of oh yeah so it's funny it's like flipping some it's working it's working on it right imagine if you could learn from people who are experts rather than companies with products to sell yeah oh, imagine if you didn't have to work for hours but make no progress now these aren't good. extremely creative so give me one second oh this yeah. is pretty good imagine if you're confident in your ability to produce your own music no matter what kind of sound or style you want to create that's great let's grab that one um Spend less money, time, and energy on your music. And more That's time great. When creating it, imagine you didn't have to pay for expensive recording studios. Let's just grab both. Yeah, yeah. 
do this a little bit different. Okay, so those are the imagine ifs. Let's remove the example again and try one more time. So you'll play back and forth between giving it an example, working with that, and then you pull the example to give it a little more freedom? Is that kind of exactly. the idea? That's, oh, that's so cool. Oops, that's completely right. So you can really um, you know, use and instruct the AI so then it can understand what you're going for. And then you really kind of like work with it and kind of have to massage it sometimes. Right. Uh, here you go. Imagine how much more confident you will feel when you know how to produce yourself at home. That's awesome. Imagine how much money you could save by learning from us instead of going into it. Well, that's a, le it's a it's little. A <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's try one more time. How many of these do we need? Uh, how many do we have? Uh, one, two, three. You four, have six five. right now. Let's get one more just to get see if we can get something a little different. Logic Pro. That's a great one. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Let's try to look. Oh, let's read through them just so that we can make sure we have them all. This one really focused on the feeling. I like yeah. that a lot. Let's just grab. And here. it also focuses. Oh, I love that, that. That it's saying you don't need anything more than your computer and headphones. That's fantastic. We actually teach that in the course. Really? <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That's so cool. So you can also have it in different formats, like imagine dot, 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 and then it's like having the right. freedom, like boom, boom, boom. And there you go, being able to record, mix, and master. Well, we don't teach mixing and mastering. Okay. But once again, but once again, this is so cool that you get to play with and just see the different ways that it can work. That's exactly right. So let's move on to the next step. Love this it. is the trust paragraph. Yeah. So little outline again now that we've we've captured people's attention we've piqued their interest and built trust understanding the pain points we're built an an image of what their life could be like without that problem they're struggling with next we want to build trust and just for some context for everyone there's many things that can be in this trust state like section for your sales page this is where you can have your bio and your certificates and all of this but we're really looking for a strong trust paragraph that's structured basically to say i struggled with this problem i then i created a resource so you don't have to go through the same many decades journey and now if you use this resource, you'll be able to get the same transformation I got, but in a matter of minutes. So we're using the little template that is in that is on this page. But once again, it's so fun to use Copy AI to see like, OK, can we find a different wording for it? Can we find a different focus? Because maybe that doesn't just sound quite like me talking. Exactly. So you'll see I have updated this to say a sales page paragraph to build trust gave the back, same background information and gave it an example structure. So if you're anything like me, you face the problem. That's why I created blank so that we can the transformation. And let's see what comes out. I love let it go to space and back. <laughs> Literally. It sometimes <laughs> takes a little longer, especially if it's a little longer. Right. Um, oh, this is the happy ever like me. If you're anything like me, you've probably tried to learn Logic Pro on your own and ended up getting frustrated by complicated YouTube tutorials that didn't make sense or listening to people who are were experts instead of companies with products to sell. That's flipped, but it's valid. It's flipped, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was hard work. And no matter how much time you spent working on your project, you never felt like you were making any progress. That's why I created this course so that we can transform our musical dreams into reality. May, uh, so only with cutting a few things, that's basically a perfect trust statement. Let's just grab it and we can edit it later. Yeah. Uh, but let's take a look. Maybe yeah. there's a better one. If you're anything like me, you've been frustrated by the lack of resources for learning how to produce music at home. There are tons of tutorials on YouTube, but they're usually complicated and confusing. 
and they don't give you any tools so you can actually put what you learn into practice. And then there are courses that teach you about Logic Pro or other software tools, but it's hard to know if a person teaching them is an expert or just someone who has a product to sell. Okay, that's a strong statement. I know from experience how frustrating it can be to work for hours on something only to make no progress. That's why I created your product. It's a course that will teach you everything you need to know in order to record and produce yourself at home from basic recording techniques all the way up through using advanced effects and give you tools that when you leave this course, there's no more guesswork left. Instead, everything is laid out and a clear path for success. That whole thing is pretty solid. <laughs> okay, let's grab it. I know there's some small things like we have to change out your product. So right. It's not perfect, but it gets real close. So that's why I created Become Your Own Producer. Let's try so it. would this be an opportunity? Could we try a different tone? Yeah, let's do it. What tone yeah. would you like? Uh, what do we got here? So we have some pre-filled in uh, standard one word tones, but you can be extremely specific. So you can really type whatever you want. Um, yeah, is there some celebrity you want to sound like? Uh, it really. <laughs> wow. Um, <clears throat> oh, let's just have fun. Let's say, let's try and see how Morgan Freeman would write it. Freeman. Um, let's say inspirational. Inspirational, trusted, authority, try that. So we can click enter, <laughs> save that as a new tone. Let's create a copy. I'm not going to do a Morgan Freeman impression, but it'd be cool if I could. Sometimes it's harder to read it out. I, I know. <laughs> um, money, that's why I created this course so that we can become producers who can record and produce ourselves at home. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe let's look at a couple other. Um, it's a lot more like you, you. Yeah, which is not bad. Tried to learn Logic Pro from a YouTube tutorial only to spend hours making no progress. Or maybe you've tried to learn from someone who is an expert rather than a company. Right. The, <laughs> the problem is that it's hard to trust someone who isn't making money off your success. Oh, it's funny that it's flipping these, but the but with a little editing, it's right on track. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm I actually, actually I flipped in the input. That's why I had it wrong. Learning from people who are experts rather than companies. So I had this flipped. Give me one second. That was my mistake, not the AI. The AI got it right from what I told it. Uh, but I actually had it flipped in my side. Oh, because it's a pain point. Right. Yeah. Right. So we got to flip it. Okay. Linda well, asked to can... a rapper like Snoop Dogg. I'm happy to try that out too. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's do Eminem. Or Snoop Dogg. Yeah, love it. Eminem. Let's do a uh, rapper. Okay. I hope oh it does not do God. anything not safe for our work, but yeah, it well... should be okay. Uh... <laughs> isn't just a course it's a way of life okay it's actually not oh. the tone in as much as it normally does that's hard to do snoop dog <laughs> here one second let's let me try yeah, something yeah, yeah. Um, structure um, instructions make it sound like snoop dog so sometimes you have to um give it additional instructions, but it's so free form. You can really add whatever context, you know, specific thing that you want it to do and it will try its best. Um, right, and you do that just by writing it in, right? <laughs> there you go, yeah, exactly. You know your music is fire, but you don't feel confident enough <laughs> to do it yourself. Prices are outrageous. Uh, I love this. Kind of did a little bit more, still not extremely 
deep in there. You, if you're anything like me, you want to learn how to make dope beats. That's Snoop Dogg for sure. <laughs> yeah. Make oh, this beat. is hilarious. I wanted someone who knows what, who knew what they were doing. Someone who could teach me without making me feel stupid. Somebody who wouldn't waste time, waste my time with unnecessary details or things that weren't relevant. That's really solid. Bits and pieces. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I made it a yeah. little bit more casual, but it's still a sales page. And I don't think there's too many sales pages written by Snoop Dogg out there. So, no, he doesn't have to write a sales page. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I think we have a really good, we've got plenty of trust statements so maybe we move on to the next one but it's really fun to see uh yeah just to see that i didn't see any like for shizzle snizzles or anything like that in there but maybe that's good for our sales page yeah i don't know <laughs> i'm sure we can if i try to play around with it i'm sure we can get it to do it <laughs> yeah if so that last thing oh go on yeah, yeah. Just the, the last thing we're doing in our sales page is creating an investment CTA. So this is obviously where we would have a big button saying buy now, but we're also making a plea to the customer through their, they've gone through this whole emotional journey. They understand now that we're solving the problem they have, that we're the right person to teach them, that we understand their problem and that they're ready to make the change. So now we say stop dealing with the problem you're facing and get started becoming the transformation we're promising with your course. That's the the rough template. That's perfect. So let's do the CTA. Um, you'll notice I changed this out to say a call to action. And then now the structure is encourage the reader to take action in a passionate and urgent tone. Mm. So you really want to drive that urgency and passion here. I know it's a little bit conflicting because down here it says the tone is still friendly. Really, we're trying to give the AI as much information as possible to be able to write this thing. Right. Um, why did that not work? Give me one second. Yeah, no worries. I will. And I love this aspect. I think it's really easy for people to assume that AI is just plug and play. But why it's so fun to have this tool is it's, I think the way that we find creative, powerful solutions is through playing around. And so to have a tool you can play with is just incredibly fun. Yeah, it's trying to write the entire um, sales page right now. So I'm trying to get it to do something a little shorter. Maybe we don't need the um, what you'll learn anymore. Because we're yeah, just asking not. the, yeah. So let's take a look. So what are you waiting for? Uh, yeah, let's try removing that, basically giving it less information. Um, the other way you could hack it, let's try this, and then I'll, I'll show you one trick that you can hack it um, to try to do shorter things. And we're constantly trying to improve it. This worked for me the other day, so give me one second. Yeah, no worries. What are you waiting for? That's nice and sustained. Okay, um, so we can do a list of call to actions. That way you're telling it, hey, generate me multiple, and then it knows, okay, well, these must be a little shorter. It's not actually the entire thing. Ready to make your own beats? It's time to put your skills in action and become a producer. Sign up for the course. Boom, boom. Getting, yeah, mm. yeah, getting tighter. A little tighter. It's not the greatest, though. Let me see. Am I missing something? It just feels like it's writing the entire thing for me. So. Oh, that first one is pretty strong. It's not bad, yeah. Amazing musician, now learn how to... That last one is pretty great. Okay, it's it's a different... Oh, the whole that whole phrase, I think. 
Oh. Is that actually that actually once again speaks to my target audience? I want people who are musicians. I'm not teaching them how to play music. Um, so I like that as kind of a positive approach. It's like you have the skills, you have the passion for music, everything. Let's get going. You know what? Let me try um, changing out the structure to what you have on this page. So stop feeling the problem. Stop dealing with problem. Yeah. Almost like giving the AI Mad Libs. Right, right. <laughs> Remove the your. OK, maybe this will actually help it a bit more. Though I wonder if it'll take it a little too literally. Don't just sit there. Get started on your path to becoming a producer today. Ooh, I like I like these are nice, nice and snappy. Sounds like a don't. You've got the skills, all you need is training. Stop dealing with the stress and overwhelm of being a musician and start with becoming your own producer today. Start enjoying the freedom of being a skilled. Stop producer. dealing with the stress of being a competent musician and start enjoying the freedom of being. I do like the yeah yeah. I like the back end of that. Yeah, I don't know what to put here. So I'll stop put a, dealing with the stress of yeah. Try that. Try one more time. It came out a little bit better when you give it a bit more structure here. So now we can actually grab, you know, sections here and throw it in here. So stop dealing with your lack of confidence or your lack of knowledge, your lack of experience, and start enjoying the freedom. So we can literally mix yeah. and match different sections as well. Oh, it's so cool. Stop dealing with, uh... I don't know why things pop on the string. Out of these, which one resonates the most? Is it the confidence, knowledge, or skills? I think lack of confidence, yeah. Let's grab that. So stop dealing with the stress. Stop dealing with your lack of confidence. And start enjoying the freedom. Of, of being a skilled skill producer. producer. I like that. So you really can mine for all types of new ideas and make it real easy. How to produce your own music and get started with a transformation that will help become you a skilled and competent producer. That's pretty solid too. It's solid. It kind of took transformation literally here. It's like, oh, the word right. transformation is right. here. Um, so. Oh, I like I like the stress and anxiety of being an amateur producer. But then the maker money isn't as right, right. Oh, this first one is pretty solid. Yeah, because that's what we're, yeah, become your own producer. That's actually, I think that's really strong. What do you think about this one? Stop waiting around for someone else to make you a star. You start. Ah! Making yourself one. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's now we're getting, we're honing in on the kind of vibe, which is you can do it yourself. Right, exactly. Now, I do want to show you one other thing. So let's yeah. say you found one that you like. Um, you can actually ask it to rewrite it on this right-hand side. So let's say we really like this one. We can click this rewrite button, and it will take this and start, you know, uh, wordsmithing it to give you different options. So stop feeling bad about yourself and start enjoying the benefits of being a successful producer. Stop feeling insecure and start savoring the freedom that comes from producing well. Stop worrying about your lack of skills and start enjoying the freedom that comes from being a skilled producer. Let go of your insecurities and focus on being. Stop beating yourself up. And so yeah, it's just like different phrasing of it. And if you like it, it would take it and replace it. So what you could also do is copy, paste it down here and then you know rewrite it. And then one other thing would be like, let's say that you kind of like this section, but then you don't know the rest, you can click this tab and it will just continue to write for you. Um, and basically it's to try to give you some additional uh, ideas on what you can write. Wow. Well, and so we didn't 
like covered too much a overview of just like process here, but it looks like a great way to work with this is you have on the left hand, your kind of templates and you're asking and you're getting it and you're collecting your ideal, you're collecting all of those nuggets, that kind of brainstorm phase. And then on the right hand, you can use those tools to start to refine and refine. And then you're left with just a wealth of value. You just have to choose from basically, right? That's exactly right. So now you have all of this information um, that you could just use your tools to rewrite. It's like, ah, oh, this is slightly off. I just need to rephrase it in a few ways. Or, hey, I wish this thing was a little longer. Um, and you would be able to press tab and it will, you know, continue that section for you. Uh, there is some room for improvement here. Um, and so these will get a lot better in the upcoming months. Uh, but it's still very solid for um, helping you continue your thoughts. That is so cool. So uh, we have to wrap up a little just for a time here. But for everyone watching, hop in the comments. Let us know what you think. Thank Chris for his time. And also, go try these tools out. Copy AI is linked below. And that sales page formula is down there as well. Just go start playing with it. I'll tell you the first time I worked with Copy AI, I was working to get it to write me a blog post on how to use Logic Pro. And it actually taught me three things I didn't know about Logic Pro. And I've been using it for over a decade and a half. So it is a really incredible tool that's super inspiring and just different than anything else as far as working with other people or sitting down and brainstorming alone. Uh, I can't highlight how unique of a resource it is that won't do all the work for you, but eliminates that barrier of just sitting there wondering what, what you're gonna work on. Um, but before we wrap up, Chris, was there anything else you wanted to share or any other uh, tools or resources within Copy AI you think would be helpful for our creators? Um, that's a great question. I do. I would love to share. I know some people mentioned they struggle with emails. I would love to share real quick yeah. what you can do in terms of emails. So I'm going to actually, I created a few. Let's do like a welcome email, right? Um, you can just grab the same thing. We're going to grab this information. Email is actually one of our bread and butters um, just because it's the perfect length. You have these structures. So greet the reader. Thank them for signing up explain what they can expect, tell them how to get in touch, um, and it will try to follow that uh, structure. So let's say everybody signed up, here you go. Oh, sorry, I lost your audio real quick. What did you just say, Chris? Oh, I said, uh, oh, here, here you go. So here's some outputs. So this oh, is like a welcome yeah. email for somebody who after, signed up for your course. Welcome and it's to like, come here. Oh, sorry, I, I'll, I'll let you read that. Oh, yeah. Well, we're so excited you're here. You've taken the first step towards becoming a confident and skilled producer, and we want to make sure you have everything you need to get started in this course. Yeah, it's so funny. These things are like when you read them, it's common knowledge or it's very commonsensical, but yet it can be so hard when you're just sitting there in an email, a blank email to know what the heck to say. Exactly. It gets you started. And not only that, it gives you five different versions of it. <laughs> and right. You can really read through them, find the tone that's right for you, and then you're good to go. Um, and then it's so easy. You can just switch out you know, the type of email you're looking for. I, I created actually a few welcome emails. So that first one is that one. The second one is a problem-focused email. So let's grab this real quick. Okay, focus on their problems, understand their goals. So this is like a, what if you could solve this problem email? Um, and so let's see what comes out real quick. It's like five options in, you know, 10 seconds. What if you could solve the problem in your music career? You are a competent musician and have been playing for years. You love to perform and play. But what you really want to do is record and produce yourself at home. You want to be able to use Logic Pro and give yourself the tools so you don't have to go into a recording studio. That's pretty much spot on with what I was. Yeah. If this is you. <laughs> yeah. But I wanted to let you know about a course that's just right for you. Become Your Own Producer is an online course that teaches students how to record and produce music themselves at home using Logic Pro. It also teaches them how to use basic effects so that they can give their recordings that professional touch without having to spend all their money on studio time. 
wow, that's a great like introduction to your like marketing sequence. Exactly. Yeah. And you have multiple different options. It does require a little bit of tweaking, but it's mostly there. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to show that off real quick. Uh, I haven't even gone into the social media posts. Um, those are the things that you know we do extremely well consistently. We've heard of you know copywriters and social media managers fill up their entire month's worth of content sitting up for an hour. You know, you yeah. just click it, get a bunch of ideas, and you just really can fill up your entire content calendar. That's so cool. So I'm I just want to let everyone know as well that I am I'm pasting and putting all the links to the templates that we use today into the description on the YouTube video as well as just a link to copy AI. And get in there and use it, Chris. I I'm curious and I bet like I'm sure you have users doing things you didn't even expect or predict all the time. Do you have people reaching out and letting you know new things they're doing with it? Is there a way for people to do that if they find new cool ways to use it? Yeah, we have a Facebook community and the Facebook community is very active and they always are finding new things. People are writing, you know, re uh, review comparison posts showing the best practices. People are creating new templates all the time and then being able to show it off. We also do daily, well, weekly training sessions um, and we go live there and on our YouTube page. So I would highly suggest checking those out. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great time. We are in the early stages of this new creative and generative AI being extremely useful for every single person. Um, Linda asked, uh, what do we all get in the free account? That's a great question. We actually, you get everything. However, right now uh, you would get an additional uh, word. Like we, we are charging by words right now. So a free account comes with 2000 words. That's not too much. You probably it's probably not even enough for a sales page. Maybe it's enough for an intention or interest section. Um, but you know, uh, there's a seven day free trial that starts with seven thousand words, and you can really play around there. Um, and then our beginner plans start at forty thousand words, which is a lot more. And you know, today we probably used I would say five thousand words creating these one thousand really good words. Um, we are looking at different ways of figuring out pricing, so you'll have to just bear with us. Um, but yeah, that's that's how it works. Love it. Thank you so much, Chris. And thank you, everyone, for coming and hanging with us and just taking a peek into the future of resources available for creators. Uh, especially, I know we've done a lot of events about copywriting and various elements, and it can just be intimidating if you're not a writer, if you don't feel qualified to do these things. Please go check out Copy AI. Try building an email or a sales page and then read it back to yourself. Ask your friends, like, look what I wrote. I did that with some blog posts and people were like, wow, you wrote this? I didn't know you were a writer. And I was like, yeah, and I collaborated with a robot and we did pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a really wonderful tool. And thank you, everyone, for being here. Don't forget to check out the resources. They're all linked below. And if you don't know what to do with these tools yet, or you're interested in getting started with Teachable, there's also a link to a free account. It's completely free to get started with Teachable. You can build your sales page, your web page, start offering courses and coaching products, all of that stuff. And with Teachable and Copy AI at your disposal, you have basically everything you need to get started. So go check out those additional resources. Thank you so much for joining us. And Chris, once again, Thank you for taking your time to be here today. I hope we see a lot more with Teachable and Copy AI and always a delight to talk with you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jonah, and thanks for having me. Yeah, we'll see you all later. Talk to you soon, folks. See you later. <laughs>